to another lesson in Apple Watch development. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to add images to our watch app. So let's get started exactly where we left off in the prior lesson. Let's delete this button and this label. Let's head back to our Swift file and get rid of all the stuff we added in here. So this stuff up here. Let's get rid of this and this IB action we wrote. We're going to be taking a look at how to add an image to our project and then more importantly, how to have it show. Uh, it's pretty simple, but I wanted to make a separate lesson for it as it's extremely important. And I mean, what are apps these days without images? So what we want to start by doing is go back to our storyboard and let's search for an image in this menu. And we get this thing, so let's drag on an image. And just like any user interface element, we could have an outlet for this to set the image and uh, set the um, set if it's hidden or not and attributes about this. But how do we actually add an image? So for the sake of this video, I have gone to Google Images and grabbed this uh, Facebook logo icon. And we're going to be adding this to our project. So let's head over to this file, which is assets.xcassets. And this is where we can actually create uh, asset catalogs, which hold one or more instances of our image. So what do I mean by one or more instances? So each image can have three different copies of it in different sizes. So let's say your image is 100 pixels by 100 pixels, width and height. You can have a 100 by 100, a 200 by 200, and a 300 by 300. And the reason we could do this is because of if and when Apple comes out with newer devices that support higher resolution, the image that is more suitable for that device will be used. That makes sure that the quality of your app looks uh, top notch, regardless of if it's an older Apple Watch or a newer Apple Watch. So with that being said, let's actually create one of these. Um, you'll notice that we already have this app icon um, prefill preset in here, and there are all these different sizes. So let's ignore this one for now, but let's uh, right click and do new image set. Let's call it logo. And we can see we have one X, two X and three X in here. I have not edited the image for multiple uh, sizes at the moment, but I wanted to explain to you what these were for the sake of its importance. We can just drag this in and let's just drop it on the 1x. Let's head back to our storyboard and let's set the image of the image that we've dragged in here, the actual image property of it, by tapping it and then here typing in logo. You can notice that it is actually uh, it's stretched horizontally a little bit and we can fix that by selecting in here how we want the image to actually look. So we can have it fill and it'll cut off on the corners, we can have it fit, um, so on and so forth. Of course, like I mentioned earlier, you can create an IB outlet in here and connect it to your image. We are not gonna do that for the purposes of this video, but I wanted to just show how to add a basic image. So let's go ahead and run this app and give it a couple seconds to load and we will see our image. So up until this point, we've seen how to create multiple screens, add outlets, actions, images like this one right here. We've seen how to add labels and buttons, how do you get input from the user via text. So we've seen quite a few things to create pretty nice applications. So that about does it for this lesson. And coming up next, we'll do a bit of a summary and we, we will take a little uh, intro and do an overview of the project that is in store for you guys. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next and final lesson. Yeah.